Welcome to School of Civil Engineering. As we have started a State Foundation Advanced Tutorial Series for beginner to advanced level and in our previous video, I have shown you that how we will design pile cap for a single column. Okay, so uh, this is our second part of pile cap design. So first of all, I will start from our previous finishing. So first of all, I will open our software and if you are new here, you can subscribe to my channel if you think that this is helpful for you and also if you are new here you can watch the previous video that already I have completed so first of all I will click here open then from here this is the I have saved that file PC file cap then open and uh, if you are new here you can watch the previous video already I have given the link in description and also you will found the video link in State Foundation Advanced Tutorial Series. Okay, so we have completed till our that soil bearing capacity factor, right? Then we'll go here, job setup, create a new job, click here. Then from here, give the job name. Okay, I'll give the job name in PC. I mean pile cap. From here, we have to select. From here, we'll select pile cap or job type. It's pile cap design code you can select the design code from here anything i will use us and uh, i will select that assign to wall supports and as it is as there have only one supports that's why and uh, code version you can change the code version according to requirement i will use 05 so after that from here you have to select every load here and select that tool how will select that first of all select that tool and sorry before selecting or by selecting click here or every load will go in down then select that only two single load dead load and live load except other uh, combination then click here then both will be in app and create click here create job so our job have been created now there have a new option pile cap job okay so click here then click here design parameter so go here and if I increase that sorry here if I go here first of all it's showing here a strength of concrete what will be the strength of concrete if I select from here PSI I'll give sorry not PSI so I'll change the value here uh, we can give her PSI or KSI so I'll use KSI I'll use her common concrete strength is double click and delete that 3 ksi unit weight of concrete so pound per per feet cube it's 150 150 you can change that according to requirement but is it under 50 is universal yield strength of steel okay 60 minimum bar spacing minimum bar spacing will be 3 and maximum bar spacing will be suppose 10 you can change that every value according to design requirement okay I'm just showing you that how we'll do that okay how we'll do that I'm just showing you that after that search charts for loading okay then side cover what will be the side cover suppose uh, the side cover will be double click here the side cover will be suppose 3 bottom cover also will be 3 as it is under soil that that's why we're giving the maximum spacing pedestal clear cover uh, we can also uh, we can give it to pile in pile in pile cap okay pile in pile cap suppose it will be okay, twins pile in pile cap twins okay or you can also increase that then initial thickness what will be the initial thickness 12 inch okay on fit depth of soil above footing 
suppose I will give her um, two feet two feet that means 24 inch also you can change the dimension from here 24 inch depth of water table I'm giving her zero inch also feet I'll give her 12 feet okay or 50 feet okay or you can also give according to design requirement 20 feet unit weight of soil this is gift per feet cube this is pound per feet cube we can give her one on two then from here maximum footing bar size sorry minimum footing bar size then click here maximum footing bar size uh, then go down so from here uh, I'm just giving it as default but you can change that okay, according to requirement so also press here yes then we have done our design parameter then we'll go here pile layout predefined okay pile layout means here predefined predefined so from here pile arrangement for support one cost one column then pile capacity what is the, what is the pile capacity it's keep okay so what will be the vertical what is the vertical pile capacity suppose uh, vertical pile capacity 180 keeps lateral suppose it's 14 and uplift suppose suppose it's 20 but uh, you will found it from a geotechnical engineer who will analysis for that foundation uh, soil and he will give you that value okay after that here pile diameter what will be the pile diameter suppose the pile diameter will be one point okay suppose that it will be one feet pile diameter will be uh, one feet or you can also increase that suppose it will be two feet or pile diameter will be two feet or 1.5 feet let's see it in inch inch it will be in 20 inch suppose it will be in 20 inch then a spacing what will be the spacing just you have to know about the spacing a spacing will be see carefully a spacing will be three times of pile diameter okay a spacing will be three times of pile diameter so it will be 60 right it ob obviously it will be inch and its distance from cl clear length of pile then it will be one times of pile diameter i mean 20 inch it will be inch done now click here show loading on support here is the loading and click here calculate so from here for our uh, load case it have calculate according to requirement it have calculate okay so cancel that if we increase the load it will bit more vertical load or 280 then again click here calculate so you are seeing that our pile capacity when vertical pile capacity are more vertical pile capacity then our number of pile are decreasing so if we again cancel that suppose it's only 80 because pile capacity vertical pile capacity are only 80 and also it's only 20 calculate you are seeing that it's record 6 it's record 6 pile cap then cancel that will give her 180 and lateral what will be the lateral it will be 40 then calculate it will be 3 pile and they have another case this is 1 and this is 1 so press ok it's done then we have done successfully everything now we'll go for design click here design analysis so here it's showing a error minimum spacing is generate then maximum spacing check the design parameter input okay 
so we'll, we have to go design parameter it's showing minimum spacing minimum spacing oh, sorry here minimum bar spacing sorry sorry we have done that mistake minimum bar spacing is 3 and maximum bar spacing will be 10 f mistake that will be 10 that again go for design okay our design have completed actually um, in instead foundation our design time is very short com uh, calculation per one feet but requirement depth is 2.9 feet please redesign with 2.9 feet here pile cap design calculation here calculation is performed with one feet calculate calculate is performed with on on feet but the required final depth is 2.9 feet I mean we have to increase the pile cap depth if we go down here it's safe what is that calculation is performed with one feet but the required final depth is 2.9 on 7 feet please redesign with 2.9 on 7 here it's safe if we go down so everything is okay if we go detailing here this is our pile cap so here this is our G plan this is the G plan I mean uh, a geo geometrical plan and uh, this is the plan with dimension and reinforcement here it's showing top bar and bottom bar number six uh, number ten six bar number ten six bar for bottom both and here top uh, five bar required number ten five bar and number ten five bar and this is for pedestrian section view for pedestrian this number seven tiber in 10 inch and here for main bar 20 total 28 number three main bar okay so if we see here this is our view this is our view 1.667 I mean 20 inch diameter of pile and here the thickness are 2.9 on 7 feet right here so this is the uh, detailing drawing and for schedule drawing schedule drawing is not available for the presence of schedule drawing is available only for isolated combined footing job okay so from here uh, detailing drawing you can also save it drawing as so you can save it according to desired position and save here and open it as AutoCAD file then you can reuse that and also Z drawing you can also found that Z drawing and uh, Z drawing option save uh, drawing as by clicking here you can also save that drawing and after that calculation sheet also you can click here print calculation sheet click here print calculation sheet and click here above add of PDF then print it will be you'll found it as a PDF file okay right so in this way we can design our combined footing uh, sorry a pile cap for our pile foundation so in our next video I'll try to show you about another topics of foundation design by using a state foundation advance and if you think that this is helpful for you press the like button so that I can understand that is really helpful for you and um, leave a comment and also press the subscribe button to support me thank you thank you very much your own support and your little support will inspire me to do the better thing so thank you thank you very much stay connected till next video